Thomas Weather. The Rich Thomas Weather Network, brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hear Rich's forecast hourly on these Blue Water Broadcasting radio stations. Hey, good morning, everybody. On this Wednesday morning, it's the fourth day of September. We're still talking about Dorian this morning, now terrorizing the, Flo the Florida coast, just off the coast, but making some progress now. And stand by Georgia and the Carolinas because it's going to make a dangerously close pass towards that area. Meanwhile, there are a total of five systems that we're tracking now in the uh, tropics. Brand new information from the National Hurricane Center is coming in right now as I speak. And are you ready for some extreme heat? I know it's football season, but we could be talking about 100 degrees by the weekend. I love the satellite perspective of Dorian this morning, showing that huge outflow and the clouds reaching the middle Atlantic coast already. Ferdinand is a storm in the southwestern Gulf of Mexico. More on that in a moment. Here's the European loop out 72 hours. Look at that dangerously close approach to Georgia, South Carolina, and then North Carolina. Dorian's brand new cone showing the storm 90 miles east of Daytona Beach. 105 mile an hour winds, still category two, now moving north northwest at eight, so making some progress finally. And the latest on watches and warnings, they're scattered. There's some warnings along the uh, Florida coast, then a watch, then you get into another warning uh, for portions of South Carolina up into North Carolina, then a watch above that. So various watches and warnings on Dorian. Ferdinand is in the southwestern Gulf of Mexico. It's going to be a big rain producer, 50 mile an hour winds as it moves onshore later on today as a tropical storm. And and hold the phone. There's a brand new one that just came in moments ago. Tropical Storm Gabriel out there in the uh, tropical Atlantic is moving off to the northwest and is, has 40 mile an hour winds. So we're up to the G storm now. And could we be up to the H storm soon? Umberto, we have Invest 92L out there, and we have another area to watch off the uh, African coast, so the tropics are about as busy as it can possibly get. So our weather continues hot and dry today. Uh, there we are at 1 o'clock this afternoon with the storm uh, east of, uh, let's say, St. Augustine, and uh, we're up to about 97 with a heat index of 101, and uh, north winds at 6 to 12 miles per hour today. Tonight slowed down to about 73. Another very hot day tomorrow. We are, uh, you know, at least in the mid-90s, maybe uh, maybe a little bit better than that. And there is the storm uh, off the South Carolina coast Thursday and right there near uh, you know Cape Hatteras on Friday at 1 o'clock. Hot day on Saturday. I've got the rain chances under 20%. Could there be a stray shower? I suppose, but I think we'll be near 100 over the weekend. And again, the rain chances are going to be very, very small. So that continues for the next few days. Even Monday is going to be very hot. I wouldn't be surprised if we tease 100 degrees again. And that's not the heat index. That's the actual temperature. So 96 at, uh, for tomorrow and Friday at least. 99 I've got us or 100 Saturday and then 100 Sunday and upper 90s to 100 on Monday as well and uh, looking at the um, let's look at the, the uh, GFS ensembles it shows us teasing 100 for a few times right on through the upcoming weekend then it shows around September 18th a nice little change a frontal system that will bring some uh, hopefully some nice relief to our area we hope we'll keep you up to date I will continue to keep you up to date on everything that's going on in the tropics and things are getting real busy. By the way, way out there around September 20th, there could be another big deal storm approaching the United States and the Bahamas, perhaps. We'll see. Uh, live on the radio this morning, 6 to 9, News Talk 93.1. Greg is away, but uh, the rest of us will uh, play and we'll uh, uh, interact with our friends at CBS 8 and ABC 32 as well. Another video for you first thing tomorrow morning at 4.45 a.m. and your forecast whenever you want it across the dial on eight radio stations twice an hour. That's the Blue Water family of stations. That's where you'll find my forecast. Have a good day today, and I'll see you later. Rich Thomas Weather.